I'm Kenny with Pro Tool Reviews. Today I've got Greenworks Next Generation 60 Volt 21 Inch Self Propelled Lawn Mower. We're going to take a quick tour over this and look at a little bit of performance. We're going to go into a lot more of the performance and cut quality, things like that in our review. So let's start over here with the height adjustment. Like a lot of cordless mowers, it is a single point adjustment. It's very simple. Set the height that you want and let it go. And this mechanism here is actually pretty robust. Some of them have some flex to them that makes you wonder long-term durability, but uh, that's solid. I like that. So as long as we're down here, let's take a look at our discharge options too. Obviously, we've got the bag on here. It comes off very, very easily just with the two hooks here. And they do include the side discharge chute. Not every mower does. And as long as you just make sure that you got your hooks here right up underneath this metal bar then it installs very, very simply. No tools needed on that, no screws or anything like that. So it comes off just as easily. And then of course, in the back, we have the mulching plug. So no matter how you like to mow, whether it's side discharge, mulch, or bag, you got all your options that come with the kit. Good stuff there. Let's take a quick look at the handle. This is a little low for me. The adjustments here though are really, really simple. Just pull these up, they're spring loaded, they lock into the detent. You got two heights that you can set the handle to. That's a lot better for me. And then you can swing it all the way around and it'll lock in place for your vertical storage. So quick look at the deck and the blade here. So 21 inch steel deck. It is steel, not poly or plastic. And let's see, we've got a 20 inch blade. So 21 inch deck, true 20 inch cutting swath on that. Bring this back up around and let's take a peek at the battery compartment. So if you buy the kit, Greenworks includes a five amp hour 60 volt battery with that, 60 volt max. And there are two battery ports here. You can put the battery in either one. And of course you can add a second battery if you want to double your runtime, but this will automatically switch over. So it doesn't use two at once. It will use whichever one, no switches or anything when the first battery runs down, it just automatically does it for you. Now, very subtle thing here that Greenworks did, but notice that it's got a soft close on that lid. You know, sometimes you got your kids mowing or whatever and this lid will snap back, give you a little pinch, but uh, just a subtle little thing that Greenworks did. I like it. And now let's take a look at what our controls are. We've got a lot going on up here on the handle. So first of all, your battery indicator's right here. You got a left and a right. Hit the power button, hit any of your controls here, and it will light up your two indicators. Obviously, we've charged this battery, so it's full. This is your blade engagement. This is your self-propel. And e pressing either one of these will operate it. And then, of course, you've got your speed dial here. Now, the speed dial doesn't have any stops in it, and it does have a pretty good amount of friction against it. So if you accidentally bump it, you're gonna, not going to knock it way out of place or something like that. So we'll take a look at those speeds here in just a second. Uh, we also have the turbo button. This is a new thing. And if we go ahead and kick on our blades, when we hit the turbo button, we should hear these RPMs really kick up. And we do. So if you're going through a thicker amount of grass, hit that turbo button to give you the extra power. And then when you're doing just a regular maintenance cut or thinner grass, go ahead and turn it off. You're going to get better run time out of the machine. So one more thing I want to check real quick is just the, the self-propelled speed range on here. Make sure that it's appropriate uh, for pretty much any user. I'm six foot two, I've got a long stride, so I tend to like my speed a little bit faster than some. Uh, but let's start on the low end. And uh, this, is, this is a pretty leisurely pace to be mowing. I probably would not mow here, but I'd rather have too low than not low enough. And let's turn around and we'll flip it over all the way to the high end of the range and see how that is. And that's quite a bit faster than I would want to be mowing. Even if I were just walking back to the, the shop or the garage, that's faster. So the good thing is my extremes on those two ranges are outside what I would want to normally mow in. So that means I'm always going to be able to find something comfortable in the middle. Now, as far as price goes, you're looking at $499. It comes with that five amp hour battery and a charger. 
If you have any questions about this mower, feel free to ask them in the comments below. Like I said, we'll take a look at things like power and cut quality when we have some more time to spend and our grass grows up a little greener. Uh, it is kind of green here right now. I'm sorry if you have snow on the ground. It's one of the benefits of living in Central Florida. Anyway, got any questions, feel free to ask them below. I'm Kenny. Thanks for watching. Hey, help us out by subscribing to the channel below and tap that bell to get notified when we post new tool reviews and shootouts. And as always, thanks for watching.